Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Well, this keeps happening to me again and again. So I'm sitting here this morning putting together, uh, just kind of mapping out content for the videos that I would like to publish on YouTube today. And it's just new piece of information after new piece of information after new piece of information keeps popping up. And then I'm like, oh my God, where am I going to fit this into what I'm mapping out here? Um, and, and so this piece is a fun one. I thought I'd just break it off into its own short video. Uh, there's a tweet here. Take a look at this from Brad Garlinghouse. He was on TV yet again. He's done a ton of public appearances lately. Here's a quick tweet from him. And, and this is from just, um, about, was I record this 45 minutes ago? He tweeted out, always a good time chatting with Maria Bartiromo. While others in crypto are moving overseas, Ripple is committed to working proactively with U.S. regulators on blockchain slash crypto. We just opened an office in D.C. and we're here for the long haul. So I'm going to briefly comment on this. It'll be a short video before I get going any further, though. If you would, please delicately tap that like button. And if you're a fan of Ripple and XRP and Brad Garlinghouse media appearances, go ahead and subscribe to the Moon Lambo channel. It does a body good. I promise you that. Uh, ask your doctor about it. So here, here's the link. Mean, I'll go ahead and link this below in case you guys want to see this. It was I think the video was roughly several minutes long. There's a couple things I want to talk about. So first of all, there's Mark Zuckerberg, and this is what they started with in the, the beginning of the interview. Mark Zuckerberg, uh, the Facebook CEO, all around good guy. Everybody's a fan of Mark Zuckerberg, aren't we? Right? And there's a piece. Take a look at this from CNN Business. Mark Zuckerberg grilled by Congress over Libra and uh, political ads. And uh, so, so this is what's, what's been happening this morning here. And there's a quote here from Mark Zuckerberg I did want to share with you. And it's, it's, on, the, it's on the whole things around, uh, well, the part I'm covering at least. It's about uh, cryptocurrency, uh, Libra cryptocurrency, and, and Facebook being the messenger of it and, and putting this out into the world. So take a look at this quote from Zuckerberg. I believe that this is something that needs to get built, but I get that I'm not the ideal messenger for this right now. We faced a lot of issues over the past few years. I'm sure there are a lot of people who wish it was anyone but Facebook who proposed this. And so that's that's how they began the, this particular video here. And so uh, Brad was was asked about that, and uh, and Marie Bartiromo also talked about something I covered yesterday: the degree to which uh, Ripple is making sure that they engage with regulators uh, in in the United States. They've talked about, and he talked about, of course, how they're. they're U.S. They're, they're planning on, certainly it's not the way they're talking now especially, and I suspect it would be the case, they're going to stay in the United States. But I don't want to go too far off in that direction. You know what I found interesting here? They had another um, guest, presumably from a previous panel or a previous segment they held over, and uh, he chimed in for one comment on, uh, on this segment with Brad Garlinghouse, and it got me thinking. It's definitely a very interesting concept. And so uh, Brad had just finished citing how uh, the, the, the success they're having, how they have over 200 uh, actual customers. And then this guy came in, and I can't remember his name and, and uh, what organization he's with. It doesn't matter. You can, if you are that curious, feel free to check out the video after this. But he said, uh, Brad, here's the thing. And I'm paraphrasing, of course. If uh, Brad, if you, if you continue to find success, you know what's going to happen. All that's going to happen is Facebook is going to buy you. Yes, Facebook. So he posited the idea of Facebook buying Ripple. And Brad kind of chuckled. He goes, look, I, I don't know how to speculate on, uh, on potential, uh, potential um, what's the A word I'm looking for? Equi potential, <laughs> god damn it. I hate it when I forget obvious words when I'm recording a video. Uh, but he said that he, he doesn't want to speculate on a, a potential buyouts. Okay, that's, that's, what he, uh, that's what he said. And... Uh, and, and and then he, you know what he went into? You know what he segued into? And this is fascinating. There's a couple things I want to talk about. He segued into, um, when it, when it, as it comes to solving problems for banks, one of the biggest issues is trust. And he started going down the path of that's what's most important as far as helping banks when you're selling enterprise software to banks and helping them conduct their transactions in a more efficient manner. It comes down to trust. He And mind you, Brad, in this video segment, had just finished talking all of them had just finished talking about how uh, how Facebook had eroded their trust and how, as a result, perhaps they weren't the best messenger for uh, the Libra, cri Libra cryptocurrency. So I found that fascinating. Additionally, if, if even if Ripple were to sell, and we've, we have talked about that briefly on the channel. It's been a while since I talked about the concept of somebody buying out Ripple. Why, who, why would it necessarily be Facebook? Because when they buy companies, they're just looking to find ways that they can mine more data and then sell more stuff. Because when, when you're using Facebook... 
you are the product. You know that that that's it. Frankly, you know they want to sell more ads. Okay, and and sell your data. <laughs> And if you look at it, so what, what would Ripple even be worth? And this is fascinating. So you've got the market value of XRP. So if you look at that, then you could say uh, Ripple's actually valued at over whatever the number is today based on price, over $10 billion, whatever it is, because Ripple's got a, a ton of XRP. That's actually not the way it works, though, because that's the market value of, of XRP. That's the market price. But if you take a look at the notional value, um, if there were to actually be a buyout, and if, if the buyout included the Ripple's XRP holdings, that's actually not the way that they'd be valued. Reason being, and I've seen this discussed, and I wish I could recall who it came from. It was somebody either at Ripple or formerly at Ripple, possibly Bob Way. It might have been Bob Way, former Ripple employee. I could be mistaken on that, but I know I heard this. And the, the, the concept is you, you have to take a look at what the notional value is, not just the, not just the market value. And, and a lot of times if you're talking about derivatives or something like that, the notional value would be, be higher than the market value for some reasons. But in this particular case, especially with XRP uh, being held, the majority of it being held by Ripple, the notional value would actually be lower than what the market value is. And, so if you're actually, and the reason being, if Ripple were to, let's just say, start unloading, unloading, unloading XRP, then uh, you, you mean it would crater the price, of course, like that. So you couldn't just if they just wanted to liquidate their position and get all that out into the wild, you know, like they, they couldn't really do it. I mean, they, they, you could do it, but you, just, you can imagine what that would do for the price of XRP. And of course, the, as a result, taking that into consideration, what the notional value would actually be, actually be, uh, it wouldn't be anywhere near what the market value would be if you just take a look at you know how much XRP has uh, is held by Ripple versus the current market rate. Right? That's not the proper way to value company, and that's not the way that it would be done if Ripple were to actually be sold. So it actually would be less, which is just an con interesting concept that I had heard in the past, and so I just thought I'd share it with you given the content that just came up here. But uh, yeah, Brad's all over the place. I just found that interesting, so I thought I'd share that and make a video that for me is shorter than normal. <laughs> But uh, th that's it for now. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.